How's it going guys? This is Prize Fighter and welcome to Contrast. I've had this game for a while, like most of the games I've played on the channel, or a lot of them. Um, so you probably hear that a lot. Um, but I haven't actually played through it. I've got it on Xbox as well. And for some reason, I just, I don't know, I got busy and just it fell under the radar. Um, but I'm going to play through it for the channel because it's a really interesting game with a really interesting mechanic of shadows and using them to platform. So we're going to jump in here. Let's see. Huh. I feel like I remember there being a cutscene here, but I could be wrong. Let's see. Interact. It's time for bed, Dee Dee. Oh, hop in bed. I'll be right in to tuck you in. There we go. Good night, Daddy. What are you doing here? My mommy's coming. You better hide, or she's gonna catch you. Okay, sweetie. Huh. Night, night. What are you looking at? Now promise me you'll be a good girl while I'm out singing. I promise. No sneaking out this time. I'll get in trouble. I promise. That's my good girl. Mommy. <coughs> is Daddy ever coming back? I don't know, honey. Maybe someday when he's ready. But don't you worry. Mommy always comes back. I'll be home before you even wake up. Get some nice sleep. Okay, she's gone. She's going to sing at the ghost note tonight. It's the most beautiful cabaret. And we're going to sneak out. Come on, we'll miss her show. So I'm an imaginary friend from what I can understand. Let's check this stuff. Mommy, me, daddy, and Dawn. So my name is Dawn. I really like the aesthetic. Did my voice sound weird there? I don't know. It felt like it sounded weird. I like the aesthetic of this game. And I say that a lot, but a lot of the times that's the first thing that draws me to a game is the aesthetic. Um, if it looks interesting, I'm likely to give it a try. Even if it ends up being terrible. Oh no, somebody moved the ash cart. Look. I know. You could go down there and move the ash cart. Sure. And I could jump down. I'll play here. So you can go over there and be a shadow person. Okay, so this is what I was talking about, the shadow mechanics. I can hit the trigger to go into a shadow mode where I can interact with other shadows. I wish I could do that. Could you teach me how to do that? Yeah, right. Okay. Okay, now move the asteroid to where I can jump into it. I'm not sure how that helps. Well, I guess it just shortens the fall a little more. Because it's not exactly a soft landing, is it? I wonder who moved it. Do you think it was Mommy? She got really mad at me the last time I snuck out. And she said as Where much did you go just for now. Someone? I haven't seen you in three weeks. I really wish you had been at my birthday. Daddy missed my birthday. Now we go this way. Follow me. Okay. Anything to collect? Nothing. <laughs> oh, I think you're too big. <laughs> Are you serious? I think that goes all the way through to the other street. If I move this cart, you could walk up the shadow, couldn't you? How on earth do you think I'm too... Well, maybe it just looked... Yeah, if she can't fit through there, I'm insane. Okay. So, plot holes aside. Whoa! 
Over jumped. Come on, we're gonna be late for the show. Okay. So here I am there. And then around. So you have to go now. What are you? Luminaries. Is there anything interesting in here? Cafe Hero. Okay. I'll just walk on down. Always check the back ways. Oh, what was that? That was probably important. Uh, next to a lit surface. Well, duh. There we go. Let's see. And then... Oh. Okay. Cool. And another luminary. Cool. Okay. Anything around here? Doesn't look like it. So we'll move forward. Let's see, give me just a moment. Sorry about that. I uh, wanted to do some color correction there because I figured this would show up really dark. Hopefully this looks better. Um, oh, got some frame glitchiness. I forgot to let that settle before hitting record again. Or before... They haven't started the show yet. You missed the dancers. Sorry about that. Uh, I wanted to do some color correction here so it didn't come out so dark. I realized when I hit this alleyway here that that was probably going to show up real dark on the camera or on the recording. Let's see here. Oh. Cutscene. Want to put on some lights? I promise you'll like Kid, you're going to get in some major trouble. Are you just making up, like, facts about this character? Hmm. Turn on the spotlights. Let me on, adjust this real quick. Help a girl out here. We can't play in the dark. There we go. Much better. Okay, so I've got to turn on the spotlights. I'm sure this has to do with that. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Hey, one's on the fritz. Hey, Not the best animation in the world. But whatever. Oh, come on, you're not even keeping beat. So I'm gonna guess that I need to climb up these guys. There we go. Yes, 
the imaginary friend is 100% qualified to fix the spotlight. Interesting. So I had to collect these, not those, the luminaries. Let's see. Dear Miss Melanchia, this is your second notice that you have been found in dereliction of your parental duties in regard to your daughter, Dorothy Melanchia. Melanchia? Melanchia? How do you say that? As you presumably know, Dorothy was found loitering in the alley behind the Ghost Note Cabaret at 2 a.m. on the morning of June 22nd. Dorothy informed the police that you were performing at the Ghost Note and are generally not at home between the hours of 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. If you continue to demonstrate an inability to look after your daughter properly, the department will have no alternative but to place her in a foster home until such time as you obtain legitimate work or preferably return to your husband. It is of particular concern that when found, Dorothy seemed to have seemed to be having a conversation with a non-existent person. A mentally disturbed child such as Dorothy needs devoted care. If you cannot provide it, I will regretfully be forced to take action. Sincerely yours, Hilda Jensen, social worker. Hmm. Okay, so I clearly missed something. I'm not super worried about it, though. Okay. There we go. It's very paper craft animation almost. Sorry, Joe. You ain't a lover, you're a house on fire. I'm burning so you hear that siren come, baby. I gotta go. You're in my past, Joe. I had my fill. Couldn't last, Joe, baby. I got this. There's no one happy in a house on fire. Why do I still hear those sirens going, baby? I need a chill. I got a thrill, babe, and I wanna run back. But I know I gotta stay. Vamp for me, Charlie, would ya? Interesting. So I'm guessing that wasn't part of the show. In the I don't need a hand Is that maybe her husband? Another one of your famous deals? This one's is there anything else I can collect oh, sure in here? It is. It blows Doesn't look up like, like last it. Time and the time before Not that. this time, babe. I'm going to make it all up to you. I got to get back on stage. Then meet me after. I'm staying at the Excelsior. But you think you're just going to jitterbug your way back into our lives with a lot of sweet talk? It's going to be better this time, babe. You're going to see how much better it can be. Room 529, kiddo. Hmm. Where is he going? I need to talk to him. Well, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, you may have noticed just now that things have changed. I think the lighting might look different, and I'm wearing a different shirt. And it's because I had about 30 minutes worth of footage here, and it's just, ugh, and I decided to cut it down to two shorter segments, uh, just to kind of make my upload and night easier. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to continue playing through this on the channel. Uh, this is probably going to be my daily um, from now on, and the other one will be something different every week, every day. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.